Well, the phone is going off. Wish I had silenced it. There you go. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, oh, Lord Jesus. Whoa. That was aggressive. Hey, baby blondie. No, no ma'am. I'm not talking to you. No, ma'am. You can back it right on up. Back it on up. Go on now. Go, go, go. Hello. I know it's been forever. But we're back at it again. Oh. So. How are you doing? How's your mama? Got Berlin. That's a big sweet baby. You got a big sweet face. I've got um, Zool. I believe I'm going to call him Zool. It's Z-U-U-L. Zool. And this is my preacher boy. I've got Blondie out here. And my baby Blondie. And, um, what's a big man? What's a big man? And then Preacher is, um, over here. Hey, big man. Preacher man. Get away from my steaks, boy. He's trying. He's working on it. You go. You go. Preacher, stop. I can see him. Really? Whoa. That was the rest of that one gallon. There's that's, another one. That's... Preacher, stop. Go. You That's like it. a Starbucks full. Mm -hmm. If I put ice in there, it would have been. It would have looked cool. <sighs> That's um. That's my sweet, sweet. My sweet, sweet nectar, sweet tea. <clears throat> ah, no, you bad dog. You get back. You get back. Go. Yeah, he looks, so I was looking at pictures of um, Preacher back in the day, and when he was a puppy, and um, for guys. sure, for sure, um... Where's the, can you hand me the thing over there? I'll watch this, if you hand me the chair. Right, um, for sure, Zool is his father's uh, face, for sure, like, no question. Alright, so what are we getting? I need a chair. Oh, okay. You guys want to see the meat? This is the meat. This is the meat. It looks nice and juicy. That's all. Alright. There you Chair. go. Let me. Oh, Blue Dog is mm -hmm. making her racket. Okay. Okay, you guys. Blondie, hi. <clears throat> Show you. Um, hold on. So we're gonna, we're gonna oil them up. Oil them up. Damn it. Is there an entry point in here? No, not really. Right, we're just gonna try to get here. I don't want it to go to the bottom. And I'm not used to having to open up bags of plastic to get my steaks out. But, I will say that I feel like these kept longer in the fridge than the, the other ones. ones. Which had plastic, like, wrap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably because beef wasn't so, like, not rare, you know what I mean? But it wasn't so, like... Okay. I could have, I could have, should have, would have gotten a, a bigger plate. Two Preacher, if you don't go lay down right now. Paper towels. Can I have paper towels? Um, Preacher, go. Preacher, Stop it. go. There should be some in the kitchen. Okay. Go lay down. Move the bad dog. I'm going to sit in happening? front, kind of. See if the charger can even go that far. Because I really don't want... Preacher, get! Uh, we don't know when velocity is due. Unfortunately. But, um, usually we can tell because of their mucus plug. Watch your leg, leg. Watch your leg. Okay. Alrighty. 
Yo, go, preacher. Dude, mama don't need you all up in her space. That's better. One for each, because they are big. All right, so first we're gonna oil them up. I'll show you. Go away, preacher. Go, stop. Preacher, go. You're just making yourself. You're just making it worse for you. You're not gonna get it. So you're just like staring at him. Dude, he's so stubborn when he wants to be. Yeah. I cannot tell you. He literally laid down and like did his little like whine. He does and he yeah. lays down. And he doesn't get his way. He's a very like people think that he. I don't know. Why I just wipe my hands. People think that he is such a good dog and he's so sweet and he's blah 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 and he's so well behaved, way behaved, well behaved. He is, but it was so much work getting him there because he is actually an extremely stubborn and willful dog, very much like his son, which is why I have his son out here in the first place because he um, is not about to think that he's going to run things in there with them ladies that he's with. He's getting away with too much, and I don't like it, and so I'm bringing him in so that we can really focus on him because he's at a very, he's almost five months old now, and so he's at this point where I need to really be working with him, and um, because it's one thing when you're dealing with a puppy that doesn't, like, have a super independent streak or dominant streak but he does and so I, I really don't want to he's such an important dog to me that I don't want to um, miss the mark and so I'm gonna do with him what I've been doing with Berlin which is having him inside um, he'll be kenneled when he's not being worked with um, inside the living room where we are he'll learn to be calm and chill he'll learn um, to behave when he is out and He'll learn boundaries and um, how it's important. The kennel time is really important because it teaches him that he um, that he can't do what he wants all the time and that he just needs to be calm and kind of watch. And it's good. It's, it, it's good. I'll show you all the dogs over here because they're laying down. <clears throat> Alright, watch my sticks for me. I'm going to check this. Okay. Preacher, hey, no. Did you bring the tongs? Nah. Savannah, I didn't go over there. I just used a stick. There's Preacher's son. Zool. No, I see you. Sneaky like your daddy. Now go. Get on with yourself. Go. 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 You sneaky boy. Go. Go. I'm going to pop your butt. Get. Hey, Blondie. Blondie. Go away, Preacher. Preacher, you don't get to go behind me. Go, Preacher, get your sneaky self. Blondie, hello. The oh, baby. preacher jill i'm sorry you have to deal with that getting a dog certainly probably would help there we go this woman says that 
she wishes that she could get a dog from you because last night a man was knocking at her door at 3 a.m. Mm. That's not fun. I would be scared. But our dogs would alert us before they even, like, step foot to our door. Y'all, it's too hot for my hair to be down. She got her hair down. I'm putting it up. I was trying not to look I like a... I put my hair up. You know. Shake my knee. Mm. Baby, how you feeling? Feeling good. Ah. No, this is not Preacher's first son. It's our first son that I think we've kept. Yep. First son that we've kept. Ugh. And I got the blessing of him actually being the biggest in his litter, as well as being the nicest and being black. He's really a blessing. There He's he a very, very nice dog. He's everything that a stud owner wants when they're trying, when they have an elderly, elderly male. He's better than his father, a lot better. He's almost better in every way. He has a better croup. He's got a better Ooh. rear. He's got a better front. I he looks like he's even going to be longer in the body. And the head, I would say, I think is going to be similar. His muzzle might be a little bit shorter, which would be a good thing. That would be better. Um, but overall, he is a much nicer dog. But he also resembles him enough to where you've not lost that, um, that you know, feeling of... Um, of like kind of passing on the the family line if you will and so very very nice dog temperament is the same too um he's i was gonna say he's a little bit i he's he's stubborn he's stubborn i'm not gonna say he's not stubborn he's definitely stubborn but i don't think he's worse than his father i will say that i definitely don't um so the fire not ready yet what? The fire not ready yet. Um, so I'm working on it. Yeah, we're probably good. <laughs> I wanted it to be, um, he almost had better than me. I saw that. My nose, like, tingled. He didn't hit my nose, but, like, it Preacher, tingled out of fear. Preacher, no. No. My nose literally tingled. Preacher. Stop it, no. He was like, I'm going to do it. Blondie? No. Blondie yeah. thought. Steaks are sizzling. Somebody said, hey, Rachel. Bro, his son just tried to come up behind you. He almost oh. got you, girl. Preacher, stop it. Oh, he's, I saw that. Oh, yeah. He thought for a second. Oh, he did. This woman says, uh, or person i don't know um hey rachel did your pups ever get boogers at about a week old um if they did what uh, did you do to get them better boogers mm -hmm. like eye boogers yeah that's my question is it eye boogers or nose boogers yeah i don't know what that is because nose boogers can be like sickness can't it because we've um, never gotten nose boogers when you're holding it you're just like oh no i'm watching i got um, it yeah i don't know about that i've never heard of that I don't, I really don't know what that is. I'm going to take these plates in real quick. My Mortigan's in the kitchen laying on the ground, and Velocity's in the dining room. Because I think the, the floors are colder. Mm. Y'all see the steaks over there? Can't really, but they are over there. Maybe if I can, like, zoom in, y'all see those? Hee <laughs> hee. Oh no, it zoomed in too much. Stop! No! Jesus, what is it doing? Oh, how is my foot doing? Um, it was my ankle. I sprained my ankle. It's a lot better now. Um, I can actually, like, I don't want to show you guys my feet, because that's weird. But, like, I can move my feet now. Alright, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Clean, clap, clap. But yeah, it's all better now. Well, pretty much all better. I'm definitely not going to go back for a little while. And if I do go back, I think I'm going to use a sprain. Not a sprain. <laughs> use a uh, brace while I skate. 
Ugh, Ralph has been going back almost every weekend. No, go away, Berlin. Blondie pup DNA test? What is that? Yeah, we already did them. Oh. They're all Batista. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, I left one of them. So he took over that one? Yeah. I'm only waiting on one guy. He, I don't know what happened, man. Like maybe, I don't know if something happened to them or something like that. He stopped talking to you? Yeah, I can't get the guy to send me the DNA test back. And so I, we did the rest of them without him. That's weird. I'm still waiting on his to send in to update. But everybody else, they're all Batista. There's that one blue brindle male. Hmm. I don't know what happened. Did the person, uh, that one person, get theirs in that called you that one time? They got theirs in? Yeah. Or was that? Okay. I was just making sure that wasn't the person that didn't turn theirs in. in. Except for that, that one person, that one family. Did they seem to make a big deal out of it or no? No, I mean, I literally can't get a hold of it at all. I, I know that there were some health issues going on, and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of afraid that something bad happened. Not with the dog, but the, with the people that own the dog. Yeah. Oh, you think they might have, like, rehomed the dog without telling you or something? No, I, I think that they might be sick. Oh. I, I, if, if I remember correctly, when I was talking with them, there was um, talk about there potentially being... Um, like somebody was sick or something like that, like the human being was. Oh, weird. So I'm um, just a worried. Desi, or however you say that, I'm sorry. Um, we asked about the boogers. Mom said eyes or their nose. Did they get them on their eyes or their nose? Oh, who was behind me? Berlin was behind me, and he was trying to lick the packages. Oh, nose. Nose boogers? Yeah. That, so, that's a... Um, nose boogers... Uh, if it's just a little bit, then I would say you might be dealing with kennel cough or some type of allergy, and that usually goes away. If it's persistent and doesn't go away, or it's green or gets worse, um, I mean, regardless, you should take your dog into the vet, but... The, well, these are the, puppies. They're like one week old puppies. Mm, one week old puppies with that? I've never, never seen that before. Yeah, she said, um, Hey, Rachel, did your pups ever get boogers when they were about a week old? Wow. If they did, what did you do to help them? So. No. That sounds like, um, that sounds like, a, like something, something upper, upper respiratory is going on. You probably... Probably needs to get them on. They're so young that their their bodies probably won't be able to like. Yeah, they those puppies need to be on, on, on probably on some type of antibiotic. To be honest with you. Right. Shay T, my mom is grilling steaks for dinner. So yeah. I wanted to cover them to get the, um, to get the, uh, smoke flavor. Preacher, stop it. Hey, Ma. Wow. Roderick, last time whenever I went over there, he showed me how to use the, um, he showed me how to use the air fryer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It was really cool. Mm-hmm. You know I can fit a whole turkey in it? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Why would you air fry a whole turkey? Because you can. Is it good? Apparently. Mm. It cooks them like anything else. Uh, Jeb says, oh, Savannah, I wanted to thank you, your mom, for posting the medicine for dog acne. My dog's acne is finally clearing up. Yay. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear it. I want to start using the air fryer you guys but unfortunately you can't use air fryers around birds you can use it you just can't use it well that's what i'm saying around the birds so we'd have to use it like in the garage or outside 
Or maybe we could use it like while the birds are outside. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. You can use it when the birds are outside. Yeah. Or you can use it outside. One of the two. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's so dangerous about it with the birds? The, like, it has the nonstick coating in there. You guys know that there are, um, there's water, right? You guys can go drink some water. You ain't got to be panting up on the porch, being some porch dogs. Uh, the danger for the birds is that birds can't be, um, they, uh, like not using nonstick pans and stuff like that, um, can kill your birds. Like, I guess the chemicals it emits or whatever, it can kill your birds almost immediately. Like, there's stories out there of people's birds just dropping yep. after them using um, nonstick pans and stuff like that. And air fryers have, um, like, a nonstick uh, thing to it, I guess. Ma, how long do you think those moths took to hatch? Like two months? A month? Uh, no, it was a couple weeks, maybe. Yeah? Yeah. You know they can take up to a year to hatch? Depending on the climate they're in? Interesting. I know. They can take up to two months to a year to hatch just out of climate alone. A lot of people didn't know that about the nonstick stuff. I guess we didn't either for a while. Hmm. What you think about, Ma? What? What you think about? Thinking about the steak right out of your mind. Y'all want to see the steak so cooking? I need, um... Oh, so this person said, um, when heated, Teflon re releases a chemical that is deadly to birds. Air fryers release it too. That's right. No, thank you. Because. Oh, Matthew says, um, some air fryers are ceramic and safe. Ma? Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know if ours is. Because ours was, um, bought for us during Christmas. So, take a look. Look, see the steak. Here you go. No, yes. preacher. No, go lay down now. You can't. Well, I can't show you, but it, it is nice and pink inside. Anyway, I'm gonna go let it sit. Guys, I'm excited about it. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. Away from these bosses. Um, I don't think we're gonna have any side dishes, honestly. I mean, we could, but. These steaks are pretty filling. Watch out, lay, lay. Somebody asked about side dishes, but I don't know. We ain't got no side dishes. That's not true. What? We've got all kinds of stuff we can have for side like what? Um, like beans. Where do we have beans? Because I put the beans in that um, cowboy caviar. Now we got refried beans. Hey, get, no, you go. Okay. Man. Yeah, we always use our microwave, you guys, to put our food in whenever we don't want the dogs to get to it temporarily. Because they, we could have like literally like a vanilla cake up on the counter and they will take it down and destroy it. It's horrible. We can't even put our eggs up on the counter anymore. It really sucks because our dogs are sneaky. He says they have to reach 500 degrees to re release fumes. Hmm. Matthew. Alright. Y'all guys want to see the other one? This one's mine. I like mine crispy around the outside, but I promise you it'll be nice and... It'll be nice and red and... You kind of see it on the side, you guys. It's, it's kind of... Well, if it'll focus. In the inside. We'll we'll moving for a yeah, see the... You see all that blood? Okay, we're gonna put that mm. in there. My mouth is watering. You guys... <laughs> what time is it? You guys... I have a job interview coming up. Hold on. 
What does it say? Hi y'all, I have a question. I was rescuing Pluto. This was to be a lab mix with Corgi, but found out he's a pit Corgi mix and is very strong willed. He just turned eight months. Would obedience training be effective? Um I don't know if that's a good question for me, but I'm sure it would be. I think any kind of training on a dog, no matter the breed, would be good for them. But I'll ask mom when she comes back in. I see. Thank you for telling us that, Matthew, because... We shall eat it with this. Oh, kimchi? Kimchi. Just not mixed together, because I don't want to mix it. Well, maybe you do. Actually, I feel like it would be really good. This woman says, hi, all. I have a question. I was rescuing a puppy that was supposed to be a lab mix with Corgi, but found out he's a pit Corgi mm -hmm. mix. He has a very strong will and just turned eight months. Would obedience training be effective? Most likely, yeah. I said any training with the dog would, like, yeah, be maybe. effective. Yeah, but what I will tell you, though, is, like, um, I am not a fan of any of those training places where you... Go in and then they take the dog. Like, it would be one thing if you are already, like, a tough person and um, you just want that style of training. It's another thing when you can't get the dog to be obedient and then you send it off. That's different because that dog is not going to listen to you, move, preacher, once you get, once you get it back. Move. You guys, I gotta grab my phone, but I can't. Well, let me unplug you guys just for a second so I can grab my phone. <sighs> it's just sitting in the sun. It's gonna burn up. Okay, see? My mom gave me her old phone because she got a new phone. <sighs> let me do this. Go away, preacher. I'm busy. Now, I will say there's a caveat to that. If the trainer, if the training place takes the dog and trains it for you, but then you come and you um, and you assist with that afterwards, um, and they teach you. That would be a different thing. But but ultimately, the important thing is that the dog may need direction, but you also have to mean what you say and be willing to back it up. Somebody said they knew you would grab kimchi. What? Somebody said they knew you would grab kimchi. Mm. Oh, Matthew. Matthew said. Matthew said, "Good luck with your job interview." I knew she'd grab kimchi. <laughs> Because yep. mom was talking about it. You see us? Well, it's so kind of turn. You see? It's kimchi. It's nice and crunchy. Um, I agree. Any advice about training yourself? Like training yourself as in training you as a person or like training your dog mm. yourself? Mmm. So yeah. Mmm. Well, howdy. Mm. Mama, did you hear the question? Any advice on training yourself? I don't know if you yes. mean you or um, so training the dog, like training the dog yourself. Um, basically, you have to um, ah. you have to one of the things that I did with Preacher when he was acting a fool be quiet. One of the things that I would do with him is, is I would take him out, not on a walk. I would drive him <laughs> to a park. They're getting tangled up in the wire. And we would do, uh, I, would, I would say a minimum of 15 minutes, but it probably usually ended up being about 20 to 30 minutes worth of training. And I would just literally have him... Come here, preacher. Right here. Heal up. Right here. Heal up. Good boy. That's where he learned that one. And come here. Right here. Right here. Come here. Right here. Turn. Come. Come. Well, I would usually make him come back around, but I haven't done training with him in so long. Come here. Heal up. Sit. Down. Stay. <laughs> Heal up. No, I'll wait. Right here. Heal up. Preacher, all the way. Let's go. Heal up. No, right here. Come here. Let's go. Come on. Turn it around. He's being separate. Pre ah. Preacher, right here. Come on. Turn it around. Right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's a good boy. Yes. Good boy. And so, and I, I haven't worked with him in like five years um, on that training. 
And so, um, ah, 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 you guys get out of here. And so anyway, he still remembers it because that's the, you know, the foundation work we put in. But like I said, um, you know, like when he wasn't listening, they got dirt on you. Preacher got dirt on you. Oh, gross. When he wasn't listening to me, you know, he, I would just move his feet and I would just work him and work him and work him. And, um, and I'm telling you, man, he became a great dog, but, um, I had to work and he had to work. You know, we both had to do it. It wasn't just a one thing. We had to work together to see it through. Right. Mm. Mortimer, me and my mom both do a lot of stuff with the dogs. That's all I can say. He said, poor mama's doing all the work. Come on, Savannah, take some jobs oh, off of her. No, it's fine. Savannah helps. She does help. Just because I'm her sitting help, here right now. Her help is becoming more reliable <laughs> the older she gets. I, I actually I, count on it, but yeah. I, I swear you guys. Also, um, Rachel Rowland says, remember when you said all the dogs will get a turn to be inside the house? Will B-Man get a turn to be inside? So, B-Man does not get a, t a chance to come in the house because the B-Man was getting a chance to come in the house. And then he went up into my bed and peed in my bed, like in my spot. And then I was like, no. Not while she was in no, there, but like, you yeah. Don't, you don't get to come in the house. It was like marking. He was trying to mark. Uh, yeah, he literally marked my bed. He's a very, very dominant male. And the problem is that anytime he comes in, nobody else really gets to come in because he's a hyper dominant male. And he will even, if a, if a female tries to check him, which females do, he will not be checked. And, and, it, and it's a problem. So what I do with Batista is um, a lot of times I'll take him with me whenever I go places, like to run errands. Yeah, I'll she take takes Batista him out a lot. With me. And so... And people, um, people love him. He yeah, loves people, people. He's a very friendly dog. People love Batista. He's a really great dog. And he loves it too. So that's how I... Or if she's working outside, she'll bring him out. Too. Yeah, yeah. And if I'm out here doing stuff or whatever, I'll let him out with me. But no, he does not come in the house because he acts a fool. And I don't have the time nor the patience to watch him like that. I have too many things going on for me to, um, it's like, it's really, a lot of people have a, pro um, have a problem with distinguishing that the many are more important than the few, right? They are, they literally are. There's no question about it, that it is, it is more harmful to neglect more dogs than it would be to neglect one dog. Like, if you see that as neglect. I don't see it as neglect, um, because it, for it to be neglect, the dog would have to see it as neglect, and Batista does not see it that way, therefore, for me, it's not neglect. But even if you were to see it that way, it doesn't make sense, because anytime he's in, then, they're, then everybody else is out, whereas, or, or put away, whereas when... Um, when I have these dogs out, I can have almost everybody else out, um, almost, you know what I mean? There are dogs that I can't, but overall, the, um, the dynamics, it's more fair, you know what I mean? I don't want to, um, anyway, it's just more fair that way, and I like having more dogs out, so. I Somebody said, dogs. I remember you said Batista is a person dog, not a pack dog. That is right, yeah. Batista would much rather be... Um, just alone in a house with a person sleeping all day and barking when necessary. Mm -hmm. um, he does not enjoy my environment. Yeah. Um, but um, I love him. You know what I mean? I love him a lot. And he's happy here. So, you know, I don't have a problem with it. He's happy in his kennel. Let me have a bite. Somebody mm -hmm. said, did Sookie get placed yet? Hmm? Did Sookie get placed? What the heck was that? That was interesting, wasn't it? The heck? Something like flashed. Yeah. Was it electricity? I oh, no, so. let me have a bite. I want a bite. That's kind of scary. Yeah, it is. My uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Interesting. get some more tea. Mm, can I have some lemonade? Nah, bro. B bro, I got you that tea. Nah, bro. <sighs> Be careful around it. Did you... Yeah. 
That actually goes to that. Yeah. Careful about just touching it after it just did that. Ooh, Berlin. I'll tell you guys in a minute. Boom. Um, so about my job interview. <clears throat> I made the mistake of um, emailing them about the job at the beginning of May. And then not responding, or not checking my email until um, today. And he emailed me back the 26th of May asking if I could come in that Thursday or Friday. And I was not able to respond until today. And I was like, hey, can we reschedule? Um, I haven't gotten a response yet, but it is Sunday afternoon. So that makes sense. <clears throat> um, but when I get a response, that'll be great. I won't be telling you guys what job it is because preacher, hey, because that is private. And there are people, I trust some of you guys, but this is the internet, you guys. Um, so yeah, I trust Matthew. So if Matthew calls later, he'll know. I can say it's a sandwich shop. That's all I'm going to say. It's a sandwich shop. So it's a small, it's like a summer job. So I have to go, I'm going to go um, maybe next week or the week. So the week I get off of school on the 16th. And so when I get off, we're going to try to get my um, ID. Yeah. Robin, no, we don't have a lot of flies. Um... Oh, we did in Texas, though. <coughs> I don't know why. I want to have some more kimchi. Mom closed it. She's gatekeeping kimchi. Huh? Talking to these here dogs. I was telling them about my job interview, but I was like, I can't tell you guys where it is. Where it's at? Yeah. yeah. Everybody was like... Good job keeping it personal. Wait, where's... Oh, I thought you left my, like, my, um, lemonade over there. I was like, what the heck? You guys see this? Did you even notice? You didn't notice. Notice what? Did you put sugar in it? No. What'd you do? I didn't fill it up all the way. Oh, no, I don't really care. Don't do that, man. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not still doing driver lessons, even though I really should be. Uh, maybe that's something I should do this summer. Because, um... I haven't driven since last year. I haven't driven since, um... Oh my gosh, it's almost been a full year since I've last driven. That's bad. I am definitely need, need to go driving soon. Ah, ah, preacher! Hold on, let me put this down. Preacher, stop it. Watch out, because he's coming up next to you. So, yes, to answer y'all's question, my driving lessons are not right now. They're just not. Okay, I'll be right back. Watch oh, it. Don't crap. let it go. Get that one is mine. I'm going to eat it. The dark one. Don't Why'd you have to put them right here? You guys want to see them? What is the video quality set at? You know, that's a great question. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I can, like... I can't change the video quality, you guys. Not right now. But, sorry if it's bad. I want to take some of my steak. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's good. Mm-hmm. You good, preacher? Go. Mm -mm. Go. Get. Preacher, move now. Alrighty. I needed a seat. That was good. I took a bite of mine. What? You took a bite already? A little bite. Right. Let me back it up over here. I don't wonder where I can set this down, you guys. I think you can. Maybe mm. up there. I would love for Rachel to teach me how to drive. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. That's rude, Savannah. I'm just joking. I object. That's hearsay. <laughs> She's just very... Um... Ah! You almost killed me! 
No, but mom, the good thing about mom is she never lets you end on a bad note. She doesn't care how bad you're driving, you're not allowed to add, or you're not allowed to end on that bad note. Doesn't matter that I almost, like, killed us in a wreck. You know what I mean? I wasn't allowed to end right there. She made me go and drive in a neighborhood. I need a fork in my neck, please. Thank you. Mama. Can I help you? <laughs> my hair looks like a mess, you guys. Don't mind it. Mm -hmm. It's in a healing process right now. Mm. Oh my god. This is my favorite seasoning. My favorite steak seasoning. I love it. It's got that classic steak taste to it. That, um... That I just love. So much head. I would. She has so much knowledge about driving. I remember she used to do some sports car thing before. I can't remember what exactly, but I need that knowledge. I used to autocross. There are sides, you guys, we have. Really good. Look it's at that. It's not like the pinkest, but it's pink. It's good enough. It's actually really good. Really? Uh-huh. So. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. mm. <clears throat> so this is like better. So one of the things that I noticed, will you get the um the smoke salt? The smoke salt? Okay. Yeah. One of the things that I noticed since we moved here, or since we've been here for a while is that our tolerance for fat has gone down because people don't eat a lot of red meat here. At least we haven't eaten a lot of red meat here. Maybe a burger, but you're not eating a whole lot of fat. Mm, we tried to have a, a steak <clears throat> recently on Memorial Day that was like, that was, um, that was, um, this is a gift from a subscriber in Alaska, Darlene. Mm, so we said the fat's not good I for love us. this. I disagree. Hmm? Why wouldn't the fat be good for us? I'm not saying it's not good for you. No, somebody said the fat... It's not good for you. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. But this is a leaner steak. Is food quality better in Virginia than in Texas? Is there a difference? Mm, no. Um, it's America. It depends. I mean, the 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 seafood quality is way better. But um, so that's that's their like version mm, of what our beef is in Texas. Like beef but the is beef better in Texas. Is better in Texas by a long shot. And, um, and what I was saying is, like, where I'm at, the, even the quality of fast food was way better in Texas than it is here. The people working, <laughs> the people working at the fast food joints here hate their jobs, and it, 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 you can tell, um, it's like nothing to get attitude in the in the drive through here. I'm not mm. saying people in Texas don't hate their jobs, but they don't deal with it the same. Mm. It's very different. <clears throat> like, we don't even go to the Wendy's where we live because they won't even, I don't even know how they're still in business. It's gotta be like some kind of money laundering front. They won't even take your order. You'll just, they'll just, they just will not take your order. It's the weirdest thing. <clears throat> it reminds me of this TikTok where she's ordering her food and in the middle of her ordering her food, she says, pull up, ho. Have you ever seen that video? Oh no, it's very weird. Mm, when we stopped in Texas on our way to Cali, the beef was much better in Texas. It's because they mm -hmm. raised a lot of cows in. Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> it's just, yeah, it's like Texas does cattle. Virginia has good seafood. Um, and that's what we end up eating a lot of here is seafood. Mm, we go up to D.C. and we have this certain, um, I mean, I have to admit, seafood is less fattening. So, mm, you end up losing more weight here. Yeah, definitely. And also, it's getting so good. It's weird. Mm -hmm. And also, like, the only other food that we would eat a lot of in Texas was Mexican food. And it also has a lot of calories. You cannot find decent Mexican food here. There's nowhere. Check on that. It doesn't. It doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. At least not that I found. And yes, I'm gonna take my fork that I just ate from, and I'm gonna stick it in this kimchi and pull it out because it's mine. And I just live here with my daughter. This baby was eating her food. Oh, don't let her. She's a little her. Yeah, don't put that. that right back. Put the take the food out. Hold on. Yeah, but show the puppy. She's got food all over her face. Is that my baby? Mm-hmm. Go away. My girl. Mm-hmm. Go away, Bridget. Not your baby. Hold on. Let me move this for a second, you guys. Yeah. That is my Nirvana. But, uh, um, my Mortigan. My Mortigan puppy. Mm -hmm. see, see no, steak. you just want to get by the food. You go. Now, you go. You want nothing to you do with babies. Exactly. You don't care about that baby. You're faking it. Go. Hey. Me, 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 me. Mm, is it your girl? Yeah. She got curls, you guys. Go, preacher. Stop. You're drooling on I'm me, I'm gonna go dude. put her back. Don't let him touch that, please. Because he is a butthead. Alright. So, I'm not gonna lie. This is my first time eating kimchi and steak. But I feel like kimchi goes with everything. So, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm surprised they're gonna let her touch that food. <clears throat> yeah, me too. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Mmm, 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 mmm. You guys don't understand how many times. I think every single time we pass that box, we pick up a puppy. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, baby Jesus. That is... That is... You know another thing that's really, really good? Is... Is, um... What's it called? Wasabi sauce and steak. Oh, it's fantastic. Fantastic. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody said, how's the humidity? It's more humid in Texas than it is here. I've looked. Mmm. But. Mmm. Um, and yes, Alpha is the sire. What do you two think of the of the seasons there's a lot of seasons I couldn't do without the seasons now that I've had seasons oh I couldn't do without it I'm, I'm not I'm gonna be honest with you after living in Texas my whole life and coming here it boggles my mind that anybody would rather live there than here I'm just gonna be it just honest. It depends, like, what your priorities are. Yeah, like, I get, yeah. Like, yeah, it just like depends this. on things that are important to you. Like, for me, I love the forest. I love the nature. I love the weather. I love the seasons. I love the greenery. Like, um, like a lot of people here like hunting. So, whenever I told them that we moved here from Texas, they were like, bro, why would you leave, man? That's like hunting paradise. And I'm like, oh, I don't hunt. So I'm sorry. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, and I will say, like, there's not as many people, so you get to enjoy things. Um, and you're not sitting in Fort, like, you go to the, 
theme park, you're not sitting for four hours in a line, you know what I mean? Like in Texas, if you go to like um, theme parks down there, I forget what it's called, Six Flags, you're sitting in line for a really long time. Quiet down! No, you're not just going to sit here looking at me. Go away. Mm. Nirvana, be quiet. Texas, uh, so say Texas has more seasons than Florida. Maybe than Florida, yeah, I guess. But all I can tell you is that having had the seasons now, oh man. it. So what I find is that you appreciate... You appreciate springtime. You appreciate summer more when you have a real winter. Um, you appreciate the weather. And, and I find that that appreciation puts me more in touch with nature. And um, I don't know. It's just, it's, I couldn't imagine if, if being anywhere else. I could understand if it was like Detroit and the economy was so bad you couldn't make a living at all. But... But I'd be—I'd have to practically be living out of a fort to want to move out of here. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the winter because it gets really dark. Mm. But I like the snow. But it just like gets. Mm. No. <laughs> He's like, let me be in the no. <laughs> um, I like the winter. I like it. I like it the way it slows down. I like the way it gets dark. I like the moodiness of it. It gets so early, dark so early. Like, you get... Apparently people, like, in Alaska and stuff like that get really sad because of how dark it is and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, because it'll be 10 o'clock over there, and it'll be like, go away. Um, it'll, sorry. it'll be go. like 10 o'clock and the sun will still be up during the summer, but then during winter, the sun will always be down. Like, no matter what. There are areas where it is extreme. I would not consider this to be one of those places. But it does start to get dirt, like dark while I'm at school. During the winter. I'll be looking out the window and be like, wow, it's getting dark. And it'll be like only 345. What are they freaking out about? Hmm... So one of the things that I did recently mm, is I <clears throat> hold on. I timed how long my dogs would bark if I didn't do anything at all, if I didn't say anything at all. <clears throat> Two minutes. Two minutes of barking before before they stopped. I don't know a single one of our dogs that would ever want to bark for ten minutes straight. That seems exhausting. Mm-hmm. I'm out of lemonade. Mmm. This is so good. <clears throat> so when I figured out that wasabi is good with steak. We were at this restaurant in Savannah. I got sushi. She got sushi. <clears throat> she didn't like the wasabi because cause she's weak. I ate poquito wasabi. But you're not supposed to eat a lot of wasabi with your... With your... Uh... Mm. Girl, I'm just weak. joking. She's not weak. I just like to mess with her. Keep her, keep her on her toes. Bro, but, um, but anyway... That was a happy accident because it was so good. Yeah, I love the rain too. Mm. Mm. Mom doesn't like whenever it barely sprinkles, so. Yeah, I like real. I like the storms, man. Once I once we get the kennel set up, then I'll actually be able to enjoy it. But now, when it rains, it means. A lot of work for me out there, but um, but anyway, but before that, for what or once we get that done, 
I'll feel a lot better about it. But yeah, I do. I just I love the storms for sure. The chickens are mad now. Mm hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with them. Mm. Hmm. The lizard. Bye, lizard. It was a blue tail skink. <clears throat> Casey, no, I don't have any career planned after high school. And honestly, I've gotten mad at how much ah, my high school has been trying to push us to figure out what we want to do after high school. So I've given up on figuring it out right now because I'm already mad about it. They're like, you got to know what you want to do. And I'm like, man, I'm 17. I don't know what I want to do. Let me go. Let me live. Why is yours more red than mine? What's that about? So, um, you know, I went through, I, I told Savannah not to focus on that because people that know what they want to do right out of high school, they know what they want to do. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you don't know what you want to do and you don't feel pulled, then trying to get somebody to make that kind of decision is bad because it, it it puts on them unnecessary pressure. I mean, you just choose whatever. It and is because, because the reality is that what they end up doing is grasping at straws, trying to find the right career, and um, <clears throat> and then they just end up wasting a lot of money. If you give someone that doesn't have that drive, if you... Let's say you want to make sure that they go to college, right? So they do something. So you go in, you get your, your basics done. Mm. Mm. That way, if you even want to go to college, mm. that way at least you've gotten that done. And then you go out and you, you get into the world and you work and you volunteer and you do stuff and you find something that you feel called to do. I really eventually want to travel a lot. I know I'm going to do that, but you can't just immediately go, I think, into traveling without, like, unless you were to, like, have a career abroad for a little bit. You know, you can, like, study abroad and stuff like that. Or you could work for an airline. Yeah. <sighs> I heard that's a luxurious mm. life. So you could be, a. Uh... You could be an ambassador. Um, mm, mm, do you mind not slobbering on me? Go away. I think that you would be really good in politics because. Mm, you're intelligent. Tough. You're really good at getting people to do what you want in a very subtle way. And um, you're beautiful. Not that that really matters, but but you know maybe it doesn't ha it doesn't hurt when you're a woman in a predominantly male dominated environment. And um. I think you have a good will, you know what I mean? Like you have good intentions. And so you would be able to fight for what's right while being nice enough, but also being confident enough in a way like to get, like, I'll give you an example. Johnny Depp's attorney is like that. She's very sweet. She's pretty, but she's not so sweet that she won't get the job done. And she'll get, and she will, like, she is the worst kind because she comes off as so sweet and so nice. You don't really see it coming, you know? And so, she um. She really nice with everybody in there, and then, boom, mm -hmm. shots fired. Mm, not you. Hmm. Savannah's very nice, very sweet. But. Hmm. When she has her... She has her stuff, you know what I mean? Um, 
I guess whenever I'm set on getting something, I will do whatever is in my power to get that. Yeah. That's yeah. the only way I will wear that. Yeah. I need more. Let me know. Bruh. That can be a good... Well, let me just want Yeah. I mean, she's better than me about it because, like, I'm like a bull in a china shop. When I want something, I get it. But I work really hard and I whatever, blah, blah, blah. Savannah's like... Why work hard when you can work smarter? And she gets other people to do the work for her. And I think that might embarrass her a little bit. Um, no, I would never want her to do modeling. No, the modeling career is really bad. It's just like the whole... Um, also, I don't have, People like, used to say that her whole childhood, and I never wanted her to do it. It's very toxic. It's very toxic, unhealthy... A lot of women that go in there end yeah. up getting um, body image issues and stuff like that, which I don't need that. And we're built very thick as women. We got a lot of bone and stuff. For her to be as thin as those girls, she'd practically have to be half starved. Almost fully starved. Yeah. It would take a lot. I'd be suffering a lot. Can I help you? No. Mm -mm. You're a bad dog. I thought about acting, but acting is very difficult because you go a very long time without getting jobs. So she could absolutely be an actress. <sighs> yeah, absolutely. Hey, man. What, bro? Bro, your shirt was all up in my food. My bad. Why is yours so red? Can I have a bite? Because mine is <laughs> not red. Mine's not red at all. Rude. May I have some of your red steak? Thank you. That was more than I was asking, but thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Somebody said, think if you want to be famous, it can be ugly. Believe me, Mom and me have already seen what little fame can do on YouTube, and yeah. it is terrifying. Yeah. The fact that your own neighbors can know who you are is like, what the hell? I, I don't care what anybody says. We YouTubers do know what it's like to be famous. The only problem is is that we don't have the protections or 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 the money that they have. But we have all the same hate, the stalkers, all that stuff. Like it's not everything it's cracked up to be. I will tell you that right now. It's not I would never like except people don't think you as a, like a professional either. Like they don't think of you like a professional like actress or anything like that, a creator. Mm -hmm. They look at you like a lazy person who just makes videos for a living kind of thing. Yeah, they it's kind of like you're so close to other people. It's it's such a it's like people think in their mind of actors in a very different way. Um like I don't know, like they're just almost like a different breed of human in a way like something they can never be or achieve but they don't see that thing about youtubers and so there's usually a lot of um of like of like of um you and i don't go around telling people for this reason but it's very much just like oh, okay oh like it's just like oh you know or they just don't like you or I, they're I, judge like yeah. it's it's not it's weird Usually, I think if, what do you tell people whenever people ask you what you do for, like, a living? You, what do you usually tell them? Because content creator or dog breeder? When people ask me what I do for a living, I tell them that I teach canine behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Melinda. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Melinda. No, back off, dude. We're not talking to you. Go in. Mm, it's interesting because I still get made fun of for something I did on YouTube a long time ago eating some butter and people mm -hmm. still bring it up mm -hmm. and I'm like what the heck yeah people will pull up that video if I ever did get famous people would pull that video up many years later and be like Savannah look you were eating butter <laughs> yeah and it's like <clears throat> and the thing about it is too for us it was that we didn't try to become YouTubers. It just happened. Um, 
I there are people that that try to be YouTubers, you know what I mean? Especially nowadays. But we never did. I was just making um I was just making videos of my dogs in my backyard. And I had been making videos for years. Like I had I had um uh, fish. I used to breed fish. And I used to make my videos are still up. All my fish channels are still up. Never went viral. Ne nothing's ever happened. When I was growing up, YouTube was just a place that you posted content, you know what I mean, just to share content. So um I say that to say that when it happens to you, people act like like you intended it, and so they try to target it, you, and they'll try like to dig up... You're like a clout chaser or something th like they'll, that. They'll dig up anything you ever did in your past as though you were living a life meant to be held up to scrutiny, you know what I mean? Which my life is definitely not. And... um. It's a very odd thing. It's a very odd experience, is what I'll say. Yeah. <clears throat> I already tell my friends what my mom does for a living, because, you know, they'll go to their parents about it, and their parents will be like, I, I mean, at least if you're a real actor, you have all that money to, f to make you feel better about the situation. Like, yeah, you know, everybody hates you, but you got millions of dollars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But as a YouTuber, you don't. I mean, some of them do. I'm sure some of them do, but we don't. And so, um... So, I mean, you'd be really big YouTubers like Mr. Beast and stuff like that, but and they're making a lot of money. Like, um, PewDiePie makes a lot of money, but he mm -hmm. takes breaks. He even takes breaks from YouTube for a long time. Comes mm -hmm. back and he still makes a lot of views. Um, oh, I had to pop my neck. Mm. Oh. But that is a very small minority on. It's a weird life. That's all I can do. And that's a lot more I did than I did last time. Well. I guess we'll cut it up into pieces and give it to the dogs. You know what? Let's give it to the mothers. Cut yours in half. Por favor. Somebody said, I heard those nut cracks from here, Savannah. Those what? Those nut cracks from back oh. my neck. Yeah, she does that. I was resting my head up against one of my friends one time, and I cracked my neck, and she's like, I just felt that in my shoulders. Get off of me. Because it made her uncomfortable. What was what we said last time that got their attention? What, the dog? <clears throat> yeah, you remember? <clears throat> We're eating the steaks before we said something. Was it like, we want to give it to them? We're gonna give it to him. It's like, who are we gonna oh, give it look to? Look who's behind us right now. Blondie! Back over here, Blondie. Come here. Hey, where's um little man? Underneath the porch. Okay. Alright. So. Hold on. I don't know. I think they're fine. Alright, so give one of those oh. to Velocity. Okay. And then give give the small one to Velocity. Mm -hmm. Give um these to the other dogs. And don't give them the kimchi unless it let me see. Yeah, it has onion in it, so, so don't, don't give don't give them the kimchi. Okay. So toss the kimchi. You can talk to them. When is the 12 month female coming in? Didn't she, um, so really cool stuff. She is finally in heat and, um, and is being bred right now. Dude, go away, flies. Oh, so she's coming back pregnant. Yes. And then she'll have them, um, yep. at Reese's house. Mm -hmm. That way we're not breaking any rules. Because we are law-abiding citizens. Here, let's go. All right. Remember, no kimchi. Got it. Toss the kimchi. All right, all right, all right. Who is she bred to? Who knows? I don't know. Mom knows, not me. Hold on. All righty. You know what? Let me do this. Preacher, if you don't cut it out, quiet down. Let's do this. We're going to do that, and then we're going to put the steak that's over here and here. 
Sweet Chat, if you don't cut it out right now, just do it. Okay, these are going with the mamas. Mamas. Mama's little baby's mama's baby's mama's. Hello, little bit. Let me get a little piece People for him. People are yelling at you. Who is she bred to? Oh, um, she is being bred to Dragoslav. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. That's very rude. It's just culturally insensitive. It's the name. I'm sorry. It's his name, Savannah. I had to give the preacher boy some because uh, we haven't done a whole lot of bonding and I want him to bond to me. So every now and then we do that. We give him a little bit of, a little bit of carne. Hey baby boy, you look just like your pappy. Ain't nobody talking to you, punk. I wonder if I can, I was trying to see if I could situate the camera in a different way so that you guys can see the dogs but I don't know how to do that I took your chair bro oh, oh watch out yeah. okay so what I want to do is see <laughs> if there's a, a way Preacher, go away. that we could potentially Fight. Will that work, do you Fight. think? Nope. Dude, back off. Go away. What? They're not fighting. They, they love each other. I don't know what you're talking about. So, about that? Is that better? You think? Yay, yay or nay? It's good. Just don't move the table or it'll fall. And seriously, don't move it. Is that better? I think so. Look. Mm. My ear itches. No, Blondie, go away. That's not my. That's not my puppy. She smells delicious. Mm. Smell the baby. Still long hair though. You see that hair? Hi. 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 Ma. <laughs> Little baby. This one, this one is so adorable. You are so sweet. Yes, this is a Nirvana puppy. They are two weeks old. Their eyes are open. They are walking. They are trying to eat food, and they are huge. I don't know what they are. I think they're super mutants. This one is so sweet. So cute. Just so cute. Oh, 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 Percy's kicked him off of his perch. Her. You guys, we have non gendered birds. If she's saying, <laughs> I heard that. Hello. Hello. Dude, she's pull He's pulling the Mufasa right now. Mm, okay, here. <laughs> Okay. Looks like her daddy. Yes, she does. Yeah, she's a splitting she image of her father. Mm -hmm. Bring me my child. Why do you smell so good? <laughs> Bring me the baby. Yeah. You guys want to see though? Real quick? Back over here, preacher. <clears throat> oh, this is so cute. Your front camera's better than your back camera. <laughs> You're talking about the Brindle baby, right? Yeah. I'll be back, you guys. Yeah, I'm really in love with this Brindle puppy um, that I have in here. Both of them. I like both of the Brindle ones. Is that the one? Yeah, she got curly hair. No! This is the other one. See? This is not the one. I don't know. The guys but I love this one, they too. Look very... Preacher! Stop it! Preacher! Bro! Boundary! Oh! 
She's angry. So I love this one too. But this is not the one. Preacher, stop it. Preacher, go. Go stop in high maintenance. Did you tell them about the that you're are you keeping are you keeping two or no? Mama. So the guy that had second pick female on this litter backed out. He bought a female from somewhere else that he's very happy with. And, and that leaves me with a potential opening or two puppies. <clears throat> or I keep back two. the two best females out of this litter, which I may very well do that. Because they're both very nice. These two brindle females. Hello. Um, Hello. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. And so, we'll see. I may. Ha <laughs> ha. Little baby. <laughs> She's got curls like her daddy. She's very <laughs> curly like her papa. Mm. I feel like I've got food on my face. What is that about? What oh, is that did about? I, did I tell you I passed my math this so well? Mm mm. Yeah. Okay, she said I passed it, but like, I passed it because it was in like my. Like, you know how they talk about how it's like. A, Bro, don't, you don't gotta put your business out I'm there. I'm not like putting it out there like that, but all I'm saying is that they said I have to retake it next spring. For the same test. Like, I'm taking the same test next spring. <laughs> Ew. Blood in your you are too much. Go bring me my other puppy. <clears throat> Hi! Hello! You want to show everybody your cute face? She looks kind of grumpy, not going to lie. But she's not. Bring me my child. She smells delicious. You don't mind not sitting right in front of the door. I'm waiting on my child. <laughs> There's this one in there. She's so playful. We talk to her and she growls at us and talks back. And every time I come over there, she she literally walks. She can actually walk. Oh, anything and she'll walk over to me. And she's just so adorable. <laughs> she barks and she looks up. No, no. She barks, she looks up. Oh, she does have she, curly hair too. Wow. She follows her mama around. Barks at her. And barks at her. Today she growled at me because I was scruffing Ooh. her up. Mm. Mm. She's got two little white toes. It just so happens that she's also super sized. Super sized. There's only like a week difference between um, Trinity's puppies and- Dude, it's not even a week. Uh, really? It's like three or four days. Cool. I'm kind of close, I guess. I don't know. Their size difference is crazy. Mm -hmm. I guess because there's, mm -hmm. there's less puppies in Nirvana's litter than in Trinity's litter. So there's more going towards these puppies. And yeah. <laughs> she like grabbed your face there for a second. Dude, green is definitely your color. Yeah. You're wearing green. You're wearing a green band. You're wearing green nail polish. You're wearing a green shirt. Green shorts. I don't even think you realize how much green you wear. <laughs> stop it! You stop it! You're too cute. You're too cute. You're too cute. Does Nirvana still have a few of Trinity's puppies? I believe she has two. Two of them. Where are you going? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Hmm? What is that? Oh, don't be sad. 
Y'all better cut it out and be quiet. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you the structure and try to show you. <clears throat> so one of the things that I do, is I try to get them to relax that back a little bit. See how it's straightened out right there? And then I bring it out like this. See that rear? See the rear? And then I just take it out. And you see I'll use my arm like this because the puppy's facing me. And I'll see that, see how the, the back rear how it bends like that. I'll take a look at that. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. <laughs> what? How does that outside, what? outside air taste? What? What? What is your problem? I wonder if they can only see like shadows, but sometimes I feel like they can see us. Big yawn. <laughs> hey, baby. Mm. Hey, no, 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 little man. Zool. Y'all guys can hear the birds. They're freaking out. The only feeling I don't like is after eating steak, it makes my teeth feel dirty. Then go brush them. Then go brush your teeth. Not right now. Then go brush your teeth. Won't you go brush your teeth? Oh, you, your teeth. Oh, Do you brush your teeth? Do you brush your teeth? See, no, I don't brush my teeth. How do you have? You don't even have teeth yet. See, I got no teeth yet. <laughs> okay, here. Um, these are the ones that are <clears throat> so cute. You could just, you could just, you could just eat them. All right, take that child. How are you just gonna put my tea in the sun? That's that's rude. You put them over that's there. aggressive. I mean, oh, you smell something? Do you smell something? something a violation. Smell There's something. No, smelling. do not drool on me. Go away. Whoa, where are you trying to go? There's something smelling. Where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to go? No, no, Savannah. What? Savannah, Preacher. go. I don't want the dogs around my babies. That's I don't his, like it. That's his grand grandchild. His great grandchild. <sighs> You go take that baby inside. Ain't that his great grandchild? Woman. I'm just asking. One. Hey, I'm just asking. Ain't Two. Give her that baby. I'm just saying, ain't that his great grandchild? No, go put that baby up. Preacher is a great granddaddy. You listen. You go put it away. Don't be mad uh, at me. Don't be mad at me. I'm not the bad guy. She's the one making. Don't me let her lie. She is the bad guy. Hello. Too stinking cute. Oh, don't be mad. Such a mad baby. Oh, watch out. Such a spoiled, spoiled rotten child. Berlin. Come here, baby. Sweet baby. This is Berlin. You, you go away. That's Berlin. I don't know if you can see him. You can't see him. He ain't quite tall enough. I let Velocity out to the party. Oh. She needed to go. Mm. Preacher, don't be like that. You should take the. Uh, oh, she's fighting. Yeah, we should film. Ah! Let me t turn it around. Don't look at my feet. Turn around. Dead gummit. It doesn't want to turn around. There we go. Alrighty. Here are the children. Where's Velocity? Drinking water? Yes. Preacher, quit getting excited over everything. Where is it? Mm. Why is it acting like it's going back to charging again? Velocity, what's wrong with you? You can't see. Cheater. See her. Watch. Velocity, <laughs> you see your booty wiggle. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Velocity, what's wrong with you? The, watch the booty wiggle. Velocity. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what are you doing, bunny girl? What are you doing, bunny girl? Bunny velocity. Oh, you guys. Be nice. You be nice, Blondie. Blondie, she spill your elder. Hey, baby. Hey, baby, Velocity. Velocity, what's, the what's wrong with you? <laughs> velocity. <clears throat> hey, pretty girl. Your little bear tail. Yeah, Blondie has slimmed down. Whoa! Oh. And almost took it out. Almost took the phone out. Berlin. I'm sorry if you guys felt Bad that. dog. You guys felt it's a big old bad dog is what he is. Velocity was bred to the madman. To the mad, mad Mortigan. Madman. Mad Let's see. This meeting between him and Preacher. Let's take a look. Let you guys see it. Look at them hackles up. Preacher's hackles are up. And he's like, I'm the man here. Look at Mad Mortigan tail up, but walks away. Showing submission to the preacher man. Preacher looks at him. Mad Mortigan's ignoring. Thank you, madame. Will you consider doing an assessment of puppy's head on a video? I'd be interested in picking. Yeah, sure. Oh, look at the madman. He's going to... Ooh, look at Velocity. She let him know. She's like, you will not rush me while I go down these stairs. You will wait your turn. She reminds hmm. me of an old grumpy like Karen. Mm-hmm. An old lady. Yes, I can definitely do a Batista uh, video soon. Madman, you gonna pee on stuff? You guys see how low our willow tree is willowing? I don't know if that's the hmm. word. Hmm. Willow tree is willowing. Yes. That is a um, weeping cherry blossom tree. It's weeping. How much it's weeping. Yeah. Ah! ah. Mad Mortigan, just because you can doesn't mean you should keep your head from that Dude, table. Are those birds kissing? Weirdos. No, they're not kissing. Look at them, they're like touching tongues. They're probably just feeding each other. That's what birds do. They're touching tongues. Mm. Which is like kissing. Uh, uh, can you get that from Zool? It's like touching tongues. Y'all are weirdos. Making out in a tree. Look. Hmm. Ew. She maybe was. I think she like tried it, like she tasted it or something. Dude, I'm telling you, they're they're feeding each other. That's that's what birds do, man. They <laughs> they regurgitate for each Weird. other. Does that mean they're in love? Uh, I think so. Weirdos. Look at you, girl, trying to get big on me, child. She likes to sunbathe when she's pregnant, you guys. Dude, she's still got some time too. Mm-hmm. So I've decided that um, we'll see how Velocity does, but most likely I'm only going to breed her one more time, and then um, I will spay her. And so after this one, I'll probably breed her, and then I'll um, probably just have a cesarean, and then have her spayed at the same time. And, um, and then she'll be retired, and she will stay here. <laughs> um, bless you okay. with me. She's not going nowhere. And then, um, when it comes to her last pairing of who I'm going to put her to, I don't know that yet. So, we'll have to see. Um, also, Trinity will also, um, her next breeding will also be her last. So, in a year from now, we'll breed her. And then we'll get a cesarean, and she'll be spayed at that time as well. And so, that kind of keeps along with our track record of, um, of retiring our females when they turn about four years old. And so, um, I just find that for me, you know, at four years old, the dogs are getting more mature, and, um, and they are... Um, kind of slowing down a little bit. And for me personally, when I see that, I, I just want to, it makes me just not want to, not want to breed them anymore. Even if they could, for me, um, I guess I'm very sensitive 
to ensuring that I'm not causing harm. And so, um, and so anyway, so, you know, I, I, I think that if you can't get what you need, um, as far as a female to replace your female in four years, then maybe you shouldn't even, maybe you shouldn't even do it. I don't know. There are some females, I will say, that are, that, you know, maybe it would justify it for sure. You know what I mean? Not even maybe, like, would justify it. There are some dogs, particularly back in the day, that were so influential to the breed and the genetics that I, I understand it. But, um, anyway, for me personally, it's unnecessary. And so... Um, I don't want to judge other people <clears throat> in what they do, but for me personally, you know, I have found with all of my females, I've, e I've either spayed them at four years old or earlier. Um, it's just been for me, like, that's just what, it's just what it is, man. That's, that's, that's where it's at. And so far everyone's good. I'm, I, I got a replacement female out of velocity um, I should get another one out of this one, and um, and then of course the other female, um, I will um, I'll keep back as well. So I'll have two females, or should have in the end I should have three females from Velocity. Um, am I uh, Trinity? No, Trinity. I will be rehoming. Um, I only keep back females that um, can, yeah, can be in the pack. So. Their, their criteria. You, yeah, you have to be able to get along with everybody. Cashmere was an exception. Yeah, Cashmere was an exception. We just hadn't moved here yet. We didn't have the space. So, um, so anyway, so, um, so yeah, so Velocity is a dog that um, gets along. She's a very core um, dog in our home and, um, and a part of our pack. And so I don't want to do anything to destabilize my pack either. Um, and I think I feel that, that removing velocity would do that. And so I don't want to do that. Um, I need my mature females. And so Blondie stays, Velocity stays. Um, so Nirvana, you know, we'll have to see. Um, I used to tell myself that for sure that I would never rehome Nirvana. Um... But now, I don't know. It's not that Nirvana's done anything wrong. It's just that that um, you can't keep all of them. And um, we'll just have to see. She's still kind of young, and so we'll just have to see. So, um, you know, we'll just, we'll just see. So anyway. Um, <clears throat> what about Batista? Yeah, Preacher stays. Batista stays. Um, Trinity is going to be retired. Um, Sookie is already, um, is already on her way out. She'll be, she'll be leaving. She's already sold. She'll be going home in like June. This blue dog, She-Ra, um, once she is bred and produces a female, she will also be retired, um, out and be rehomed. Um, I think it's so funny. Bro, what is up with the feet? I think it's so funny. <laughs> Weirdo. I think it's so funny we used to call Berlin Mothman. Yep. Yeah. And so, um, Dude, so Mona would stay, but she's going to uh, Reese's house because Reese made me swear that I would let her have Mona. Reese and Ralph. Um, love. Yeah, it just depends on the temperament and stuff like that. You know what I mean? What Chala? Chala will, will, yeah, she'll be rehomed eventually. And you know what? If the guy that had her before, if 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 after all of that, you know, he is getting another females from me, so key, so that probably wouldn't work. To be perfectly honest with you, but I would at least give him the option. Back over here now. Let's go. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Um. Who else is there? Zoe. Um, Zoe would be rehomed um, after Zoe is retired. If she even produces a litter. Zoe has not produced for me yet. We're going to give her one more try. We're going to take her to the vet and have her looked over. And um, we'll, we'll um, pair her up based upon progesterone testing. But if she doesn't take, then she'll just be rehomed anyway. Um, and so... Um, Who else is there? Hmm? What? Mm -mm. No. 
How long until like you graduate males out? What? What about males? Like, at what age do you rehome a male? I try not to rehome my males if I if I really like them, um, if everything works well, you know. I will say that I'm open. I, I did offer Don Juan to a guy um, because he's local. And he was specifically looking for a dog to do bite work sports with. And I know that Don Juan has that ability because he's a very high drive dog. He has very high protection instincts. Um, and I just think he would do really well at it. And he's also very much what this guy was looking for. He's a giant of a dog. But he um, didn't have the money um, for, the, or for what I was asking for the dog. So... Um, so anyway, so, um, so yeah, if I could still maintain breeding rights on him, I would absolutely sell Don Juan just because in the kennel environment, he is so much upkeep. He's so loud. He's so energetic. He's so, um, because of that, he's a, he has a dirty kennel. Like he's, because it, he runs in his own stuff. And so it's just, it's typical working dog stuff, but I personally don't like that. So he's the same way. But, having said that, in the house, he doesn't act like that. He acts like a normal dog in the house. It's just super, he's super high drive outside. So, you know, it's kind of, it is what it is, unfortunately. It's nothing wrong. I want to be very clear. When I say things like that, there are all of these people that are like know-it-alls, and they think they know more, or they think whatever, and so they interpret that as me saying the dog is like crazy or has a bad temperament because they don't know anything about dogs in real life and in particularly working dogs but it's extremely common like I remember way back when I used to train dogs there was this woman that I um got this shepherd from and she worked with police dogs and uh, she also did uh training for scent dogs and one of the things that she would do is she would go and test dogs at shelters and things like that and she said that the best dogs were always the ones that would make the worst mess in their kennels they poop all in it and step all in it and um they're just very you know turning circles blah 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 she said those were always the best ones because they're the ones that want to work and so it's not something that i like but i get it um we Unfortunately, our breed has been classified as like a as a bite work breed and even in Europe and so they are starting to compete and so they want these high drive dogs because that's going to get them um it's going to it's going to allow them to be better at those jobs because right now a lot of them have like a more mastiff temperament which is they're not really going to expend the energy um unless they need to and so he is an essential dog for what they're trying to do, and he is exactly what they've been breeding for. So I'm not criticizing who he is as a whole. I'm criticizing the fact that I personally do not preference that temperament. So um, so it is what it is. Yeah, well, I forgot that you weren't doing a video for a second. Like I thought you were about to be like, okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Ew, your eyes are stinky. <sighs> stinky baby. But anyway. Stinky yeah. baby. Yep, thank you guys. I don't know, was something happening when I wasn't watching? Um, will I ever do full <laughs> pack videos again? Yes, definitely will. Um, not all of the dogs, but I will do the vast majority of the dogs. There are some dogs that don't mix. Um... Quiet down. Um, what I'll say is that uh, I've been extremely, extremely busy recently and haven't had the ability. Mad Mortigan, come here, to do the pack videos. Um, once things calm down a little bit, that might be possible. Preacher, quiet down. Sookie, quiet. So, so you're such a dog. yes, Cashmere is on Instagram. I think it's like two dogs and a parrot, or two parrots and a dog, something like that. Um, is the somebody will t somebody will jump on and tell him tell people? But yeah, she's on there. Hey, no, Mona, quiet down. 
Quiet. Crazy dogs. What? Mona, cut it out. Oh, thank you, C major. Yeah, three dogs and a parent. Or something. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Velocity's very happy. She spoiled rotten. And the really cool thing is that the people that have her, the gentleman had a... Or, sorry, ca what did I say? Oh, my bad. Um, cashmere. So the people that have cashmere, they, the gentleman that has her, there's a, a husband and wife duo. The husband had injured himself or somehow gotten injured and was basically like, I believe, bedridden for a while or at least stuck at home. And he got better watching cashmere and just had become very attached. And when cashmere got really sick, he was calling me and helping me because he's a retired physician. And so he was calling me and helping me and going over um, what, what her symptoms were and her levels and blah, blah, blah. And so when it came time to retire her and we couldn't um, have her in the small house that we were in with all of our dogs, um, they took her. And, I mean, it's just been fantastic. They love her. She's been great for them. It's been a wonderful thing. She's so happy. She's like a queen over there. She's never kenneled. She's never alone. And um, they give her a life that I could not give her. And that's the thing is like, I know that a lot of people get upset um, and emotional when we have to rehome a dog. But the reality is that they oftentimes live a life that is way better. And more often than not, when they do come and visit, they, ha they, they do not want to stay. And they're very obvious about it. And I like to see that as much as it kind of hurts because... You know, I love them and, you know, I want them to want to be with me. The reality is that is that it's better because that tells me that I made the right decision. So, um, so anyway, so it is what it is. I know it's not for everybody, but it works and everyone's happy. And so as far as I'm concerned, other people's opinion on doesn't really matter because they're not they're not really involved. <clears throat> the last What's wrong with you? A lost city. What's wrong with you? My baby velocity. Dear my baby velocity. Dear my baby. Dear my baby girl. Dear my sugar face. Mad Mortigan. Mad Mortigan. What a sweet boy. Look at that sweet baby boy. Look at the sweet baby boy. Preacher Gully? Uh uh. No. Psst. You. Hey. Down. Right now. Down. All the way. And stop your. your uh, I was going to say the B word. Move that. All the way down, Preacher. Now. All the way. All the way. Shh. All the way and be quiet. All the way. Head down. You be quiet. It's circling around. That's not already down. Down with the head. Now. Now, because what you did was bad, you were bad, you stay, bad dog, he got jealous, he's just high maintenance right now because he is not a dog that was, he's always been like my ride or die. He's always been with me. And ever since we started doing the kennel thing, he doesn't like being put out. And um, he wants to be the man of everything. And so just now, whenever I was um, interacting with Mad Mortigan, he got jealous and wanted to come assert himself. And he's just going to have to get over it. So... And then Mordecai was still on the porch really close to it, so that's why he was growling. Because mm -hmm. I don't think he wanted to be put down at the cover. Yeah, he doesn't like... None of the males like being dominated in front of each other. And so, it's a... You know, it's a thing. It reminds me of, like, kids. Like, I remember as a little kid, I hated when my mom would you get, get up to me. Like, in front of my friends. Because it'd be like, man, I know... Don't cool. do that again. Mm 
No, you don't come over here for apologies. No, and I will not touch you. No, sir. No. <clears throat> you don't get to, no, you don't get to with me. You don't ever mess with me, bro. Go away. Yeah, he's insecure. He's like, somebody love me. No, because you were bad. Go away. Don't even look at him. I'm going to go pet him again. Nothing you can do about it. Come here, madman. You go. Now. Mind your manners. You go. Mind your business. Come here, Mad Morgan. My sweet baby. You're a good boy. Nobody's gonna tell me who I can love on. You get jealous. My sweet baby, boy. My sweet baby. You're such a sweet man. You are. You're a sweet baby, boy. Alright, you're a good boy. That's a bloody. Are you a sweet baby too? Are you a sweet baby too? Sweet baby. You're a sweet baby face. Bye. Couldn't resist giving her a kiss. Oh man, Preacher's son looks just like him. Exactly like him. It's kind of freakish. Do I have any updates on the process of moving and stuff? So Quiet. I don't really want to spill the beans on anything, but there's been some some little stuff that's went on in the background, and I'm just trying to keep my hopes. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be chill about it, but I, you know, there's some things, and maybe, maybe I might get to stay here. We'll see. We'll see. Look at you. You got a pretty face. You sure do got a pretty face, boy. You sure do got a pretty face, my Berlin. Yeah, you're pretty boy. You're sweet baby, yeah you are. Yeah, definitely a preacher clone for sure. Hi. Whoa, you're such a weirdo. Yeah, you're such a weirdo. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> I knew it was coming. She got, she got him for the disrespect. She's like, well, you know I ain't in heat. How dare you? My two ladies here. Respectful to one another. Velocity will always tell them. Look how slim she is. Look at my girl. And you see that right there? That is... One, two... That's three litters or four litters? Did she have three or four? I think she had three litters. Yeah, she had three litters. Uh, Blondie's had three litters, and you can see how her tatas are not hanging super low. Where are y'all going? Oh, he's got the ball. Oh, he's got the ball? Yeah. Go get it. Now, Morty, get, come here, get the I got, ball. I got this ball yesterday. Come here, grab the ball. Come here boy. Or not. All right. You better get that towel up off the ground, Savannah. Uh, bohemian pups? I don't think I've got any bohemian pups. I never bought any dogs from him. I'm not a, um... I'm not a fan of the breeder. Well, good. We ain't got no chickens out. Laura, um, if you have a male dog, uh, one year old, I would suggest a female if you want it to be um, easy. Size wise, Bohemian. I don't know what you mean. Like, size wise. Hey, back over here now. Do not play with the toy over there, Savannah. Needs to be where I can see it. Yeah, no, it needs to be over here where I can see what's going on. Preacher? No. I don't trust you, no way. Let me know if it gets blurry, you guys. No toys, Savannah. <laughs>
So, I don't trust Preacher. Do you see how Preacher just gave me side eye? How he looked at me? He knows I'm watching him. Because, see, the thing is, is about when you have a male that wants... If you, if you have conflict or tension between two dogs, you never... You never... Mona, stop it. You never encourage any type of excitement. Mona, can you put her collar back on? She's taking the full advantage. Um, I believe it's in the garage, if that's the one you had on Preacher. You two, hey, 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 quit it, Frankie. Stop that. You. Sir. Sir. Frank Alicious. What are you doing? Step up. Come here. What are you doing? Are you being a bad bird? Are you being a bad bird? Are you being mean? Is he being mean to you? You let me know. That's right. Are you being a bad bird? You go into your swing. You behave. You don't be no bad bird no more, you hear me, Frankie? Okay. And that's because my Mortigan peed over there earlier. Hey, mad man. What you doing, boy? You're pretty bully. You're pretty bully. Yes, you are. So, as I was saying, you do, I hope y'all got that slobber. <laughs> As I was saying, you do not encourage play or excitement when you have two dogs that have tension between them, which these boys have tension. And what Preacher's doing right now, you see how he's keeping close to me? He's trying to guard me. And so what I'll do is I will make him walk away from me because by allowing him to guard me, then it makes his behavior worse and it actually will give him the impression that I'm condoning that behavior. And, um, and so it will reinforce it and we're, we will be more likely to have a fight. If he knows that I do not approve of him guarding me, then he's less inclined to try to fight over me. So, um, and he's just in his feelings because... It hasn't been his inside time. It's been Mad Mortigan's inside time, and he's all up in his emotions. But he can get over it. And he's going to need to. Hmm? Huh? Good boy. So it used to, be, it used to be that Mad Mortigan would try to start stuff with Preacher all the time, and Preacher would ignore him. But now my Mortigan has really matured and he's very confident in himself and he does not feel the need by Astrid. He does not feel the need to try to impose himself on um, Preacher anymore. He's very confident in himself. And so there's less of that type of behavior out of him um, than ever before. But he's a really, really good dog. I mean, my Mortigan is a fantastic male. There's Berlin. Beautiful baby Berlin. Tell my baby boy. Tell my baby boy. Mm. Okay, we'll watch these guys. So, Preacher peed right there. Now we see my Mortigan peeing over his pee. See, now this doesn't really look good for Preacher because ultimately the more, the more dominant male is typically the more confident one. And so um, my Mortigan's behavior is more, is more correct for a confident dominant male than even Preacher's right now. And in, when a dog has that kind of weakness in the temperament, not temperament, but weakness in their status, you see how Preacher's the one walking up? And so it seems like nothing's going on between them, but there's a lot going on between them right now. Like a lot of communication between them. Very nonverbal. Get, you know, sizing each other up. 
um, all that kind of stuff. And so you really have to watch the eyes. They'll glance at each other. And they'll learn because this is really and truly a very unnatural situation for two males to have um, females, for them to be reproducing, for them to have offspring here. Um, you know, both of them have sons out here right now. So we've got our preacher boy right there. Structure. Look at that, man. And um, and then we got Berlin, which is clearly my Mordigan son. And I know they can smell that. And we've got Blondie. Blondie is preacher's daughter, but but you know she's just you know alpha. You know, alpha. She's one of the, the the family. Preacher, come. Where's Velocity at? Velocity. Velocity. <clears throat> you guys, Velocity tends to just wander. Oh, sugar bear, what you doing under the house? Sweet baby. Hey, there my poor baby. You want to go inside? You want to go inside, sweet baby? You want to go inside? Will you take that child in? You think this is what those females brindling is going to be like? Yes. The one of them, yes. I think the other one um, is going to be even nicer than that. Structure. Doesn't look like a spider monkey anymore. Still not quite as long in the body as I would like, but you know what? It's all right. Zool. Zool. I think I'm going to nickname him Zool the Mule. Not just slow, stubborn. Stubborn like a mule. His, his registered name is going to be Senza Tempos. There is only Zool. Hello. Hey, baby boy. Yeah, yeah. Pretty baby. Pretty baby. He reminds me so much of a tiny preacher. Preacher, you're guarding her again. I see that. You should let out... Um, we should uh, up the stakes and let out uh, Don Juan. Mm. Mm. Savannah says... So then it says, mm, mm, mm. What you do? <clears throat> Don Juan is a handful. Grim. Ah, 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 grim. Leave it be. Ah, grim. Don't mess up your pretty teeth. Cut it out. <laughs> Gonna end up like uh, Gonna end up like Batista. Yeah. Missing some teeth. And yeah. Stuff like Batista, man. Let me tell you something. That dog, he's gonna need dentures. <laughs> Psh, no. Don't. You cut that out. You can let him out, actually. Yeah, let him out. Put, like, bad flavor, let know? Grim out. He's fine. Especially with these big boys out, that'd be good for him. Him in Berlin. Just make sure to take his collar off. Look at that. Look how Berlin comes over immediately. Oh, my Mordigan knocked him. Always grabbing a toy. Always a custodian nose dog to grab a toy. <clears throat> Pardon. They always want to grab something to play with. So Grimm is about a month older than Berlin. Maybe not a month. I take that back. He's not a month. He's like, I think he's... No, no, I think he is. Yeah, I think he, yeah, he is about a month. He is. Yeah, he's a month. Um... Zoe, cut it out. Or not Zoe. Mona, hey, quit it. Back over here, let's go. Did you put a did you put a collar on her yet? Hold on, sorry. I'm not looking at the comments, you guys, because I've got to watch these dogs. So just give me a second. What? Nothing. I'm just letting people know they're asking questions and I can't look at them while I've got this new dog out. Madman, come here. Now, let's go. Get in here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Grim. Oh my God, he found it. Look at him. Come on, Grim. Come on, boy. Good boy. Yes. All right. This dang hose. There we go. All right. So we got Grim. We got Matt Mortigan. We got Berlin. We've got Blondie, Preacher, Zool, and Velocity's inside now. 
chickens are put away. You brought the ball? Uh, no, um, Grim did. Hey, good boy, my man. You're a good boy, yeah. You're a good boy. Look at that tail straight up. Communicating to everybody. He's like, this is mine. Anybody asking? It's mine. I bought that for him yesterday. I figured they pop balls. There's like nothing you can give them that they won't pop. And so I thought that if I got them that, they would hold on to it. Look at this structure. Oh, man, he moved. This dog right here. Oh, man, so nice. Now, this is the thing. They all they all develop differently. And so just because he looks good right now does not mean that, like, say, Berlin won't look good um, when he matures. Sometimes they, they end up at the same place, but they take different routes. Uh, never mind. But very pretty dog. Grim is a gorgeous dog. I love his muscle tone. Um, it's just a lot that I like about him. Oh, baby. Zool, don't be scared of your daddy. Come on. Don't be scared. His daddy keeps him up to the stick. Mm-hmm. Look, he's just not chewing the ball. Oh, he's holding that ball. He says, don't touch it. I have no idea how much my Mortigan weighs, but I wouldn't be surprised if he is in the 150 range. Can I have your ball, please? Can I have it? Can I have that? Oh, gosh. Ooh. Jesus. Don't teach him that. Yeah. He is wildin'. He's thinking about it, too. The little boy, he's like, hmm. Oh, we're at 5% battery, y'all. I'm gonna have to let you go. We ain't got no more battery, folks. I'm sorry. I gotta end the stream. I hope you guys are having a good day. And I'll talk at you laters. Bye. Bye.